Welcome to October, Lightworkers. This month, Metatron has issued a challenge to use October's 31 days to look for good news. Focusing on good news and raising your vibrational frequency means there will be even more good news to celebrate. At the beginning of the message, Metatron offers an overview of world and weather events. The second half addresses your personal experience. So be sure to stick around until the end because you do not want to miss the part about receiving peace pellets from your angels. October will bring surprises. Please elaborate. Are these surprises weather related or conflict related? Might it mean the end of the war in Ukraine? Possibly. Well, that's great news. What would have to happen for that to change to a definite? Sweet surrender. When the Russian people wake up and realize this war is meaningless and they've had enough, it's destroying their lives and their country. They will lift their voices in unison, demanding a treaty be negotiated, restoring peace to the region and to the fractured families. Anything else about Russia and Ukraine? There will be a period of adjustment for Ukraine as they pick up the threads of their lives. They must discover what normal will now mean to them, for it will be different. There will be celebration and deep appreciation for themselves, their leaders, and their land. Ukraine is posed for a big comeback. Is it highly likely that a treaty will be finalized by the end of 2023? Yes. What about October in the U.S.? There's bound to be some surprises with all the political maneuvering and legal battles coming up. Soldier on, dear lightworkers. Keep the faith. Your efforts are being felt. They are making a difference. They are softening hearts and healing rifts. Your healing will not happen overnight, just as with Ukraine. Once the process begins, it will pick up momentum, carrying you forward into a brighter, more enlightened future. That is not to say that all conflicts will be resolved. Untangling the threads of these deep-seated hatreds and machinations will take time, but it can be done. Keep the faith and soldier on. Make that your new refrain. Tropical storms. What about other parts of the world? Places that traditionally suffer greatly during the fall and winter months. The tropical places that often get hit with monsoons, tsunamis, and hurricanes. What can we expect there? Is it going to be much the same as in past years, or will we see a shift? It's going to feel like the wrath of God raining down upon them. In the midst of fear and turmoil created by such weather events, it's important that people band together, move to safer ground, see to one another's needs. Don't stay in your home hunkering down when it's clear that a deadly weather event is aimed directly at the piece of ground where you reside. Evacuation can be the best answer. Yes, you can call upon your angels for protection. However, some events cannot be averted. In those cases, the angel protection you call upon can help if you evacuate. You have some responsibility to do the sensible thing. We encourage you not to stand in the face of a storm shouting, I'm protected by my angels! The wind doesn't care. It's serving a purpose and you could be blown away. So, dear lightworkers, be sensible. It's always our desire to serve your highest needs. Sometimes that means warning and encouraging you to take action to get yourself out of the line of fire. Heed our warnings when they come, for they will. What about Puerto Rico, Metatron? They've had it rough for quite some time. Do you see statehood ahead for them? It's highly likely Puerto Rico will achieve statehood by 2025, if they still wish it. By then, they might have changed their minds. Any volcanic activity that we need to be aware of and take measures? There are a couple of underwater volcanoes that are presently burping, likely to spew in the future. Mount Kilimanjaro on the top side is bubbling up from its depths. Present timelines show potential eruption in January 2024. But let's bring the questions back to October. Peace pellets. Okay, for the 31 days in October, what highlights can we expect? More breathing room. A decrease in tensions amongst people, as the angels have been seeding the clouds with peace pellets. When those peace pellets subsequently rain down on the land, they soften people's attitude, 
and facilitate a deeper awakening. Beautiful. Thank you, Metatron. Does that mean we can expect October to have less strife, to be more peaceful? Not exactly. A slight lessening, yes. These things take time, but trust that the peace pellets are doing their work, softening hearts and opening eyes, until at last peace pervades the planet. Following those words comes the strain of the fifth dimension, singing Aquarius. What else do you want to share with us about October? Any particular activities that would be wise for us to engage in? More focus on feeling better. When you find yourself complaining, dial it back, for that only leads to more complaining. Dissatisfaction and grumbling in the moment may feel better, but you must realize by doing so, you are sowing seeds of discontent. That leads to even more discontent. When you find yourself in the middle of discontent, stop immediately. Take some deep breaths, then look around for something positive to be grateful about. Focus on that. Keep focusing on that. Keep focusing on that. Until not only do you feel better, but now you see more wonderful things to focus on. Because, dear child, your world is full of tremendous delights. It's just that when you're in the midst of discontent, they are veiled from your sight. If you don't believe, if you don't allow, you won't see. Multilayered transformation. The wisest action you can take in October is to soften to yourself. More love and appreciation for your wondrous self, which will expand and touch those around you. As you step into the beingness of love and appreciation, that energy breeds more love and appreciation. You'll be transformed. And that energy opens a door for those around you to take note and allow their own transformation. Remember, dear child, your transformation is ongoing, multi-layers and multi-levels. Your transformation is the most important task on your soul journey. As your frequency rises, you metaphorically rise to appreciate the higher perspective. Don't hold back. You can connect more dots. You can gain greater understanding of yourself and the world. Robust life going on all around you that others who have previously awakened have benefited from. Now it's your time to step up, receive, accept, employ, and enjoy these benefits. Now is not the time for holding back. Introspection. Now is the time for setting out anew on your soul journey with greater fortitude greater foresight, and greater enthusiasm. Because now that you've had a taste of this new life, you will crave more. It's all available, but you have to do the work. We can't do it for you. You have to take the action. You have to move forward. You have to reach for inspired thoughts and implement them. There may be effort involved, but it will not feel like work. It will feel exhilarating because you are creating your new reality. Work on you and don't worry so much about what your neighbor is doing. Turn your attention to those things over which you have authority and some measure of control. Good news, multiplying like rabbits. Are you telling me there's some good news coming in October? Something we can celebrate? There's always good news coming that you can celebrate. It's a matter of looking for it so you don't miss it. Good news is happening all over, all the time. However, when you focus on things that cause you to feel fearful, you miss the many occasions to appreciate and enjoy good news. Can we make a pact that during October you'll look for good news? Let's make October Good News Month. Give little notice to bad news unless it's something you have the power to change. When you focus on good news, you'll find more good news multiplying like rabbits for you to appreciate. 31 days of good news. So with that, my dear child, I send you love and encouragement for your consequential soul journey. Now I bid you adieu. So lightworkers, will you accept Metatron's challenge to focus on good news each day of October? There's great hope for our future. Admittedly, there's also a great deal of work to be done. Working together is the winning ticket. Come on, lightworkers, 
Let's make October 2023 a month to remember. If you're new to the channel and appreciate the wise, comforting words of Archangel Metatron, you might enjoy previous monthly forecasts. There's also a playlist of messages on a variety of topics, including the prophecy of Earthtopia, messages from Gaia, and the Divine Feminine. Love and blessings, dear Lightworker.